Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. I'm gonna show you how to connect uh, a Stream Deck using the companion software from BitFocus uh, to Mad Mapper, which I'm using uh, to control my lights and my light scenes. So I already have the Stream Deck set up. I have Companion installed, so all that is set up. And I also have Mad Mapper set up with all my lighting scenes, and that's all working individually. So what I'm gonna show you today is just connecting the Stream Deck using Companion to Mad Mapper so I can have buttons on the Stream Deck firing light scenes in Mad Mapper. So we're going to jump over to the BitFocus Companion settings, and we're going to add an OSC control. So I have the OSC control in here. You can label it whatever you want, and you want the target IP. So I'm doing this on the same computer, um, but either way, you want the target IP to be the computer that has Mad Mapper on it. So I'm doing this on the same computer. So I'm going to type in the IP address of this computer. And then the target port just needs to match on both ends. So I have it at 8010 here, and we'll check it on the other end. So I have the target IP of this computer, and we're going to click Save. All right, so now I'm going to jump over to my buttons, and I have a Lights On button. So if we scroll down on this button, again, you're going to create just a brand new button here. Uh, you know, name it, whatever you want. And then we're going to add an action. So you're going to want to add an action of OSC and you want to the OSC action of send message without arguments. Uh, by default, you're going to want to leave that delay at zero. That's going to delay that button press if you put a, a value in there. And under OSC path, you can essentially type whatever you want. It just has to match on both ends. So I did slash OSC slash worship. Okay, so that's the button setup. Now we're going to jump over to Mad Mapper. We're going to go to Preferences. We're going to go to OSC Controls. We're going to make sure that port number matches at 8010, and it does. So we should be good there. Hit OK. And then um, I have all my light scenes already set up, so we're just going to add an OSC control to one of them. In my case, I'm going to edit it because it already exists, but you would right-click on your light scene, you would say add control and you would pick OSC. So in my case, I already have one, so I'm gonna edit the OSC control. And right here is where you would type in the exact um, description address that you typed in on the companion side. You could also click the learn button and press the button and it would put it in for you. So I'm gonna put in the slash OSC slash worship right here to make that match. And if we jump back to my scenes, I'm gonna press my lights on button here on my stream deck, and you should see the worship uh, lighting scene activate. So here we go, lights on, and worship lighting scene has now activated. So that has gotten your connection set up using the OSC protocol between the stream deck and your Mad Mapper software uh, to use it to control your light scenes. And you could just repeat this process for any light scenes you have uh, typing in a different US, uh, sorry, OSC address uh, for each of them. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.